same place I pitched last week but uh, got a lot of wind blowing from the south so gonna pitch up a different direction here today so I think I'll just go from it's a little higher up there so I'll put my that'll be my head in I'm gonna do a couple different things today I'm going to put the uh, Osney top quilt on. I'm going to snap it to this side since the wind is coming this way. And then because it's so windy and it might snow, they're talking about snow a little bit, I'm going to put my poncho snapped on top of that so they'll all be on here. The wind played a little havoc with my camera and smacking around in the trees. Junk. <laughs> so anyway, so I had to shut her down for by well, snapping this up. I, I should have good weather tomorrow, so I'll be able to. I'll break this back down to show you. I've got my beast on the ground. Next up, I've got my Osney top quilt, which is basically a blanket that's insulated with ClimaShield Apex. Then, on top of that, I've got my Osney cloak, which is also a poncho liner, has a hood in it and all that, but it can, it's adaptable to this system as well. And then on top of that, I've got a heavy duty uh, poncho, this is Ranger Green, Cordura, so it's Cordura Nylon Poncho, and I uh, thought I'd like to use that since it's so windy, you know, that might be a plus. And uh, so now, so everything is snapped together. It's all snapped along this edge. The wind is coming mostly from back here and from over there. It's kind of switching back and forth a little. So I've kind of tweaked my lay here just a little bit. One of the advantage of this is, you know, I, at any time I can change direction of it. It's not a big deal. This is going to be awesome. So anyway, so there's my there's my layers right here. The beast, the Osney quilt, top quilt, the Osney cloak, and the HD poncho in Ranger Green. That is gonna be a nice cozy bed right there. Now I got it set up, I'm actually excited to go to bed. <laughs> ah, time to get up. I'm letting the sun be in my alarm clock today. Whew. Man, we had a storm last night. That snowed a little, not much, but... Man, the wind blew like crazy. But I slept good. Now look at this. See right here. There's frost inside of here. That's from my body moisture. You can see it right there. But look. Gone. All I got to do is shake it off and it's gone. So my, so my body moisture passes through. My blankets, they don't hold on to it. It winds up out here where it was cold and froze, froze to my poncho. But all I gotta do is shake it off because it doesn't stick to it. And, and it, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm dry, I'm good to go. I attached my poncho to everything last night because the wind was just blowing so much. I needed a little bit of wind protection, so I snapped, so I snapped it onto the beast over top of my Osney top quilt and my Osney cloak. So all three things are snapped to the beast. They're all integrated to it to form just a little personal shelter. And man, I'll tell you, it worked good. I slept, I slept straight through the night, except. 
There was a time or two when the wind really, really got going. That just kind of woke me up. I went right back to sleep. So, I mean, it was, it was all good anyway. I slept like a log. I woke up about 7, and uh, then I went back to sleep. And, uh, I don't know, some of these camps, they've been working so much. Some of these camps are just my chance to catch up on my sleep. I decided I'm just gonna let the <clears throat> so I just let the sun wake me up. So when it comes up and warms up my head, it's like okay, it's time to get up. I got bare feet, and I like bare feet in high in here is the warmest. My feet have just been toasty warm, really nice. Well, if, if the sun weren't out, then all that is is just little ice crystals like I showed when I very first woke up. Um, I showed the little crystals on the surface of the, of the poncho. Those, <clears throat> those crystals, because I laid in there longer, I kind of, I really been lazy. <laughs> the, the intensity of the sun has come up in the sky a little more and it's really, that, that uh, Ranger Green uh, Heavy HD Poncho is really absorbing the heat from the sun like crazy. That thing is almost, that thing is almost like warm. And so what's happened is it got warm so those ice crystals all melt. It's only just a film of ice crystals. It's not like a ton of moisture or anything like that. Now, if the sun, people often ask about condensation. And now you can see that there's a little dampness here. It's only on the very surface of the fabric here. It's not down in it at all. And it's on the poncho. Because my body moisture was trapped there, I don't usually like to use a, a waterproof, windproof cover over me because of the wind. I had to. Now, this isn't very bad because the sun's out. It will dry that surface very quickly, not be a big deal. Okay, remember how this looked just soaked? And I've, I just took just a little walk right over here to the edge of the cliffs just to, just to look around. Everything out here is utterly dry. I mean, there is... There's not one bit of moisture anywhere here. It's still, it's still well below freezing. And yet the sun has, has come out. It's dried all this off. Nothing here likes to hang on to moisture anyhow. So just that simple little deal, maybe 20 minutes, everything's dry. Everything underneath was already dry because it pushed the moisture up through to the outside here. So like I say, you know, if it were an overcast day, it's below freezing, everything here would have been frozen ice crystals and I would have just shaken or brushed them off and been dry that way. Since we have the sun, you know, 20 minutes of the sun has dried everything out anyway. So either way, 